This is not a dancing club, far from it. It is a women's prison in Sierra Leone. They are dancing to celebrate a life spared. Some of these women are escaping the hangman's noose. On October the 25th, the judge be passed a verdict said condemned by hanging. But last year, 2021, ending of December, nine the manager called me say they don't put that death penalty, they don't put that condemn. There's a life imprisonment nine day now. It is a welcome relief. Well, in other ways, I will be feel good, even though I know say even the life imprisonment is too hard. In July 2021, Sierra Leone's parliament abolished the death penalty. Aggravated robbery, murder, treason and mutiny have been grounds for capital punishment under Sierra Leone's constitution. These offences will now be punished by sentencing to life imprisonment with a minimum of a 30-year jail term. What happened in 2016 when there was the UPR cycle, the recommendations that were made to Sierra Leone, the government committed to enforcing those recommendations and one of which was key was the abolition of the death penalty. The human rights uh, impact of the end of capital punishment in Sierra Leone is that one, we would now not ever be in a position where anyone, no matter the offense they have committed, will be killed for something that they, for an offense they did not commit. We do know that people end up sometimes uh, with the death penalty for offenses that have not been proven that they had committed. So that is out of the way. Uh, secondly, the, the reason society uh, creates uh, punishment uh, for criminals is to reform them. It's, it's not to eliminate them from society. And there's a lot of potential in terms of the contribution that they can make if we reform them through the correctional services and they are able to be integrated. Or even if they are to stay in the correctional services for life, they can still make contributions while serving their uh, lifetimes.